Hey guys. So it's been a little while since I've done a math video. And since we just came out from spring break, I decided that today we needed to review telling time to the hour and the half hour before we went on to anything else. So if you take a look at our clock over here, let's just remember what is this hand called? Remember I taught you a trick for this. We have the hour hand and we have the minute hand. And you think about which word is shorter because this is the shorter hand. So this is the hour hand. Ooh, that's some bad handwriting this morning. <laughs> Sorry guys, this is the hour hand. And then this is the longer hand and it's the longer word. So this is the minute hand. And like I said, guys, excuse my lovely handwriting today. I don't know what is up. Okay, but you know what I mean. This is the hour hand and this is the minute hand. All right, we also talked about what does the hour hand show us? Well, the name kind of tells us what it shows us. The hour hand tells us what hour it is. So right now, my clock is showing what number is this hand pointing to? All right, so I'm going to look. It is pointing directly at the 8. I also told you that if the minute hand is pointing straight up to the 12, that means it is o'clock. So right now, our clock is showing us 8 o'clock. All right, let me erase this for a minute because I think we all know that by now. All right, so now if I move my minute hand like this like this now my minute hand is pointing straight down to the six and remember we counted each of these numbers represents something and that is why it was so important for us to be able to count by fives. So this is five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And that's as far as we're going to go right this second. All right. So. My minute hand has gone halfway around the clock. And remember that fancy term I taught you for that is that it is half past eight. Because if you look at our hour hand, it is not pointing directly at the eight, but it is still in here. It has not gotten to the nine yet, has it? So as long as this hand is still in this eight range, it is still eight something. All right, so we know it is eight and we went halfway around the clock. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So my clock is showing me eight, 30. That makes sense to everybody. My hour hand is halfway between my eight and my nine because my minute hand has now gone half way around the clock. All right, let me erase this. All right, now, let's see here. All right, now, let's take a look at this clock and see what time it is showing us. I'm gonna give you just a minute to look at this clock and see if you can come up with what time it is before I tell you. Remember, you wanna look where the hour hand is pointing and you wanna see what the minute hand is doing. So I'm gonna give you a second to see if you can figure this one out. And yes, guys, I'm drinking my coffee. You guys know Miss Howell has coffee every morning. All right. So while I sipped on my coffee, I hope that you were thinking about what time this clock says. So my hour hand is pointing directly at the 10. And my minute hand is pointing straight up at the 12, which means it is 10 o'clock. Two thumbs up if you got that. I think we're doing pretty good with this. Now, 
I'm going to take my minute hand and I'm going to move it halfway around the clock. So now, as you can see, here's where 10 is. My hour hand is still in that area. It hasn't gotten to my 11 yet. So it is still 10. Now I know that it's halfway in between 10 and 11. So I'm gonna take a look at my minute hand and oh, yep, it has gone halfway around the clock, which means it is 10.30. That makes sense to everybody? All right, let's try another one. Let me erase what I've drawn here. All right. Okay. I want you to take a look at the clock. See if you can tell me what time it is. Remember, look to see what number the hour hand is pointing at and where my minute hand is pointing at. So see if you can tell me what time is on this clock. All right, so if you looked, the hour hand is pointing straight at the two. And my minute hand is pointing straight up at the 12, which means it is two o'clock. All right, now I'm gonna move my minute hand around like this. Draw my little guide here. All right, I'm looking at my hour hand. It has not gotten all the way to the three yet, so I know it is still two something. I'm gonna make an observation that it is halfway between the two and the three. So I want you to see if you can tell me what that means. If the hour hand is halfway between the two and the three and my minute hand is straight down, what time is it? All right, because my hour hand is halfway between the two and the three and my minute hand has gone halfway around the clock, I know that it is 2.30. All right, now let's get a little trickier here because I think you guys can handle it. All right, so let's start here. All right, it is now three o'clock and I need to erase my little thing here. All right, it is now three o'clock. I know that because my hour hand is pointing directly at the three. My minute hand is pointing straight up. Now, I want you to watch something. I'm gonna take my minute hand. Ooh, all right, now I'm gonna draw my little guide here for you. All right, now, what time do you think is shown on this clock? All right, well, first, I'm always gonna look at my hour hand. Well, my hour hand is still between the three and the four, so I know it's still three something. Now I'm gonna look at my minute hand, and this is where our counting by fives is really gonna come in handy. So I'm gonna say five, 10, 15. So it is now three, 15. So now you guys just learned to tell time almost to the minute. All right, so let's try another one. Let me erase the little guide I've drawn here. All right, so I'm gonna move my hand. Da, 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 da. Ooh, I got a little crazy there, sorry guys. All right, so very quickly, you should be able to tell me what time it is. Our hand is pointing directly at the four. Minute hand is pointing straight at the 12, so I know it is four o'clock. Then my minute hand is gonna move just like this. All right, now, my hour hand has not gotten all the way to the five. It is still in this area, so it is four something. All right, now I'm gonna use my counting by fives. Five, 10, 15. So now I know it is 4.15. 
All right, that's just something a little extra because I thought you guys could handle it. All right, that was our review on telling time to the hour and the half hour. Now, if you've checked your email or Google Classroom, you have seen I've actually assigned you some practice in our Big Ideas Classroom. So you just go to your dashboard, you click on your Big Ideas icon, and the assignment will pop right up. That will help you with what we just talked about, telling time to the hour and the half hour. Bye, guys.